Chronic inflammation can occur when the inciting injury is persistent or recurrent or when the inflammatory reaction is insufficient to completely degrade the agent bacteria, tissue debris, and foreign bodies, that incites the inflammatory reaction it often occurs de novo, without a preceding acute inflammatory reaction it occurs in two major patterns chronic nonspecific inflammation and granulomatous inflammation a cellular reaction with a preponderance of mononuclear, round, cells, macrophages, lymphocytes, and plasma cells, often with a proliferation of fibroblasts and new vessel scarring and distortion of tissue architecture is characteristic this type of inflammation is mediated by the interaction of monocytes macrophages with lymphocytes monocytes are recruited from the circulation by various chemotactic factors cytokines derived from monocytes macrophages activate lymphocytes the activated lymphocytes, in turn, are the source of additional cytokines that activate monocytes macrophages lymphocyte activation by macrophage presented antigen results in the formation of antibody producing plasma cells. This type of inflammation is characterized by granulomas, which are nodular collections of specialized macrophages referred to as epithelial cells granulomas are usually surrounded by a rim of lymphocytes activation of macrophages by interactions with T lymphocytes is involved poorly digestible antigen is presented by macrophages to CD4 plus lymphocytes interaction with the antigen specific T cell receptor of these cells triggers the release of cytokines, especially interferon gamma, which mediate the transformation of monocytes and macrophages to epithelial cells and giant cells Casius necrosis is often characteristic, especially in tuberculosis, resulting from the killing of mycobacteria-laden macrophages by T lymphocytes and possibly by cytokines or sensitized macrophages non cositing pulmonary granulomatous disease is caused most often by sarcoidosis the presence of multinucleated giant cells derived from macrophages is also characteristic the Langhans giant cell has nuclei arranged in a horseshoe shaped pattern about the periphery of the cell and is particularly characteristic of, but not specific for, the granulomatous inflammation of tuberculosis. The foreign body giant cell has scattered nuclei. Granulomatous inflammation is the characteristic form of inflammation associated with number of diverse etiologic agents, including infectious agents Mycobacterium tuberculosis and M. leprablastomyces dermatitidis, Histoplasma capsulatum, Coccidioidzimitis and many other fungi Treponema pallidum the bacterium of cat scratch disease, Bartonella hensley, foreign bodies unknown etiology, including sarcoidosis, 